Hey, I'm Jesse. I'm Jason. And today we're gonna to show you all the stretching that you need after your spin class. All right, so Jesse's here on the spin bike. He's just finished his spin class. And now we're going to stretch out the body uh, and the muscles that he has used today. So the first one we're gonna do is a calf stretch. So we're just gonna have our feet on the pedals and all you're gonna do is just drop your heels down. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch through the calves. There we go. Yep, so a nice little calf stretch. So again, all you're doing is dropping your heels down as low as you can go. You're just gonna give that nice stretch to the calf. All right, next we're gonna do is just is gonna stand up and he's gonna pull one foot out and he's gonna stick it on the back of his seat and he's just gonna point his knees straight down and this is gonna be a nice little quad stretch for him. So it's just, and again, the more you lean back, the more of a quad stretch you're gonna get out of this. Uh, if you're super tight, again, just go to a comfortable stretch. Don't push the stretch, but this is the best time to do a stretching because you're actually still warm, the muscles are still warm. All right, we're gonna switch legs. Perfect, so again, you just wanna point that knee straight down. Keep the leg as close as you can to the bike. And the foot just rests up on the seat. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna put the foot up onto the bars. So this is like an inner thigh and groin stretch. And we're just gonna sit back on the seat. And we're just gonna slightly push down on the inner thigh. And that will just give you a nice inner thigh and groin stretch. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different in how flexible they are and how much, how deep they can go into this stretch. So this is good right here. This is comfortable for Jesse, so he's just gonna go with that. I've seen people do this. Yeah, if you move a little bit farther forward, it uh, just works a little bit of a different muscle group. All right, so now we're gonna hop off the bike. Excellent, and Jesse's gonna put one foot up here in the middle of the bike and just lean forward, and again, you're gonna get that glute and hamstring stretch. And just up, and again, this is just leaning forward as much as you can until it's comfortable. Now, we did use the upper body a little bit, so we can just bring the arm across the body and just do a little bit of a tricep, because you're, you're basically pushing down the bars the whole time, like your entire body weight uh, is going down onto your arm, so your triceps do get a bit of a workout on this. So, a little bit of a stretch out afterwards is a good thing. And then you can just do a little side to side with the neck. You can do it on the bike, off the bike, whatever you feel comfortable. Just a little side to side. And again, whatever feels comfortable for you. Another nice one is just the arms straight up overhead. Perfect. And then you can go to the side and that gets your lats and obliques. Perfect. So that was all the exercises that you would use after one of our spin classes. If you love this video, make sure to check out the other videos where we answer every commonly asked question when it comes to beginner spin and beginner indoor cycling. If you love this video, make sure to subscribe down below, give it a big thumbs up and share it with somebody that would it would resonate with. Oh, and if you love this video, check out these videos.